Let's get right to it, fans. We got plenty of first half of rivalry action to review. Brooklyn up on top against New York. They're looking to improve their chances of getting into the playoffs right now, sitting in eighth place, not the most comfortable position in the world. We've seen Kevin Durant producing at a high level against New York, shooting nearly 70% so far, a gaudy shooting percentage, the envy of everybody playing tonight. And a resilient Knicks team staying in it. Great energy and aggression offensively, making their own luck with a lot of second chance points. A great performance by Derrick Rose in the first half. He has 11 points and is up to his usual tricks, dropping a lot of dimes all over the court. We'll get things going with a look at teams playing later tonight. It'll be the Warriors out at Oracle Arena against the Raptors. A 7.30 Eastern tip time. And the other game that's scheduled later tonight, the Bulls will square off against the Clippers out in Los Angeles. 8 p.m. Eastern, that one gets started. Thanks for being with us. Now back to Brooklyn as the third quarter gets underway. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. Welcome back, everyone. The second half about to get underway, and it's been a close one so far. What a game we're seeing from Kevin Durant. He's been a monster in this game, throwing down some huge dunks. Tell you what, I wasn't sure the rim would survive that first half. Well, the interior defense has to get tough. I mean, it's that simple over the next two quarters. I mean, he's making them look really bad. We've got Durant. Kyrie Irving is out there with Harden. Then there's Griffin, and it's Harris in at the small forward. So that's the lineup for Brooklyn. Defense is foul. Joe Harris. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Outside Robinson to the paint. Here's Knox, and it's blocked by Harden. And they'll keep possession from deep. Rose, the shot misses. And it's the Nets taking it the other way. Durant with it, out guarded by Randall. No good from Durant. You just assume he's going to knock those down when he's as open as he was there. Here's Knox, and so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Look at the numbers for him on the line uh, this year. 88% on the season. Impressive number. And I'll tell you guys, I mean, to see the improvement he's made in his free throw shooting in the space of just one season, I think it's been remarkable. Nets leading by three. Harris setting the pit for Durant. The finger roll finish at the bucket. Durant's got 20. His shooting's been outstanding. Definitely one of the reasons his team is up in this game. And stolen by Kyrie Irving. It's two on one. And it's out of bounds. The Knicks will take it the other way. Racking up the points down low. Well, that's exactly what these guys have done this season. Check out the top scoring big men in the NBA. Fifth, Kevin Durant. And there are different styles among those big men, but they have one thing very much in common. They can dominate offensively, face up or back to the basket. They can get it done. And that's what makes that list so intriguing to me, Steve, just how varied it is in terms of technique each of those big men use. I mean, you could fill a textbook by taking a little piece of each of their games. I mean, they all do something different and unique and do it well. That's kind of his strong suit, the ability to find his way through the defense and finish at the rim. Here's Harden. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Shooting for Easy one. call there. No question about that. You could hear the impact from where I am. The Nets have gone 5 of 7 from the free throw line in the game. Pretty robust numbers from the free throw line, guys. 82% from the line for this team collectively. Yeah, guys, they can feel very good about themselves when you bring up those statistics. Impressive number. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. And there's the call on Kyrie Irving. That's foul number two for him. Here's Rose. 13 points in the game. And they've been off target now on three of the first four shots they've taken in this second half. Gets it to go. 22 points for Kevin Durant. 
Well, his body control is what I notice. I think that jumps off the page when you watch him play, even with a defender draped all over. He's able to find a way to get to the rim and get the shot to go in. And there's something else on his resume that can't be overlooked. Just how many times he's taken over at the end of close games and carry his team to the win. Passes it to Barrett. Here's Knox. Trains the three-pointer. He's got 14. Guys, he shot a very good percentage today, and they've needed it. How much time I've gone by Brooklyn? Yeah, guys, I think he feels like he's going to make a few improvements during this timeout. Just kind of make a couple of adjustments, get his club back on track. You know, coaches are always tweaking and tinkering with things mid-game. Actually, sometimes they overdo it. Irving drives in. Durant. And count it. Two points with a chance for one more at the free throw line. He's on fire, Kevin. They've got to bring the double team sooner when he's got the ball. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. You know, in their last game, guys, he was dialed in at the line. Yeah, no question. I mean, it may have been the strongest part of his game. Guys, I like that this is a part of his game that has really been consistent this year. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. There at the pass to Rose. The pass to Barrett. Back to Rose. New York moving the ball around. Rejected by Harris. But they recover it. Robinson, that's good. Boy, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. They've got a battle inside. Well, this game has been tough, Mark. I mean, they're getting after it. And I think they're starting to run a little bit low on energy, possibly. Boy, have they been hitting the glass hard or what? Kind of surprising with such a tight game. Yeah, you're right. Very rarely will you out-rebound an opponent like that and not have it pay off. Durant dishes to Harris. And again, no good by Brooklyn. Knicks trailed by five. And he jams it with authority. This game's going to take a big swing. Clark, if the D continues to clear out like that and give up easy dunks. Yeah, that's the kind of defense we expect to see Come in a blowout, on. Kevin, or even an exhibition game, not a close game like this. And you know, well, I just, you know what, Kevin? Come on, Ken. I, I just like that he didn't choose to just lay it up there. I mean, he threw it down with force. Rose passes to Barrett. Stolen by Harden. Irving kicks to Harden. Hammers it on. The foul is off the break. Boy, he is a strong is finisher on the fast break. Yeah, he sure is. He remains in total control, even at full speed. I love that about him. New York's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Rose with the ball. He's picked up by Irving. Pass to Barrett. Oh, he's going up for the LU here. And the dunk by Robinson. That gives him a double-double in this one. Ten points and 11 rebounds. Maybe that'll ignite him. I mean, impossible not to get pumped up after that. At least I think that would be the case. Well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys in the bench. They are. Look at them. They are pumped up. Yeah, they're geek. That's what those alley-oops do, though. And on the way from Irving for three. Rebounded by Randall. Boy, from my angle, it looked like it was in the bottom of the net. Looked good from here. Yeah, I thought so too, Clark. The shot's good from Knox. He's really stepped it up this quarter. Looks like he's determined to get them out of this hole all by himself. Brooklyn's getting blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Here's Durant. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for it. Clark, their offense has been great here. Yeah, I love the way they've looked. Really strong and together. Yeah, and very aggressive, too. Keeping the defense off balance with their ball movement. I like the way they look. They're getting a bunch of their points outside of the paint. Three of their last five buckets are from three-point range. But the defense isn't making them earn it. I mean, those shots have just come on easy, open looks. Well, he's found his game and his rhythm this quarter. He's gotten into a nice groove. Rose goes in. And the layup's good off the glass. Rose has got 15. 
and Clark, a great competitive game so far. Yeah, tit for tat. I mean, back and forth, plenty of lead changes, and excellent play. These two teams, guys, are so evenly matched to me. I think this could go right down to the wire. And that's one of his strengths, knocking down those long-range jumpers. And it's out of bounds. The Knicks able to retain possession here. As this season gets underway, let's see how the Nets are stacking up in the NBA stats. Third in three-point shooting. Fourth in rebounding. And they're in the top ten getting into the passing lanes and coming up with steals. Well, and you talked about the free throw shooting. That's what jumps out at me, Clark. And when you shoot well from the foul line, it allows you to close games so much easier because those are easy points, and you get your defense set up uh, at the other end because the clock is stopped. Taj Gibson's checked in for Robinson. Here's Green. Can't hit. Excellent D from Gibson. New York's gone three of five with the long ball since entering the second half. And they will get the basket here, folks, as they rule goaltender. He didn't get to that one quite in time, Kevin. Those can be tough to gauge sometimes. That whistle got a big response from this crowd, and it is not a favorable one, let's say. I'll tell you what, the fans can't believe that they made that call. This is from How about that now? What a sensational finish. Oh, got to be able to get some hang time to do that one. Yeah, you got to rise and... Sus levitate. Suspend yourself. Yeah, levitate. Yeah, it, and glide. And glide. You got to glide in and reverse it home. So sweet. Noel, guarded by Green. Green with the block. Outside Durant. Oh, and there's the one in the jam. And taking a quick look here, guys, at the hustle stats for the Nets. Contested shots and block shots. They're bread and butter defensively. They're giving up no easy looks. And another area where they've done a great job tonight is forcing the issue defensively and, and getting some steals. Payton kicks to Burks. He passes to Knox. The dish to Burks. Rebound, Brooklyn. Oh, easy look there, but, you know, he misses those once in a while. Irving attacking. Feeds to Griffin. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Irving's got assist number 10 tonight with that last one. Knicks trail by six. Here's Payton. And it's Kyrie Irving with the rebound. Brooklyn's gone one of four in three-point shots here in the third. Deflected. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Gibson dishes to Burks. He's again. No good from Gibson. Well defended, and he's not someone who responds well to that kind of defensive pressure. Boy, I tell you what, nice little run here they're going on. Now the story is points in the paint, Clark. I mean, they're getting point-blank shots every time down. And the Knicks making a change here. The Nets have shot 8 of 10 from the line. That's an even 80%. Free throw shooting here. Now here's Noel. There at the pass to Knox. Here's the screen. Here's Barrett. Oh, my goodness. Oh, what a huge play. Even when they're down, he's still looking to do the spectacular. And he pulled it off. Well, maybe, yeah, maybe this is the best time to do it. Yeah, I agree. I mean, now it's when they need a little spark anyway. And Start your new year with the NBA. The Philadelphia 76ers go up against the Houston Rockets. Friday night, NBA Hoops. Thanks for joining us again as we get set for the fourth quarter. A terrific game so far. Knicks trail by six, and on the four for New York here in the fourth. We've got Derrick Rose, and it's Barrett at the shooting guard position. And you know that's going to be goaltending, guys, so that's a free basket right there. He almost got to that shot in time, but not quite. You can't touch the ball once it's on the way down. A lot of noise coming from these fans. Pretty unhappy with that call. Well, you know, we've got a lot of amateur officials in the crowd, and not one of them liked it.
Well, he did have a three-pointer in the first half, but so far here in the second, he's come up empty. Here's Knox. They get the rebound. Robinson passes to Knox. Good, and the assist goes to Robinson. Knox. He's got 24. Yes, Nothing too fancy, just simple execution. That's getting the job done when they need to make every possession count. I agree, Clark. They need stops, and they can't afford any wasted possessions. Nick's Those inside shots are on, really high-percentage looks. Take a look at what Harden has been doing. He's got 11 points. He's come away with two steals as well. He's blown up some plays out there. It shows you what an intelligent defender he can be on the ball. He really understands the game. And the Nets making a change here. Irving's checked in. Rose passes to Barrett. Back to Rose. Rejected by Griffin. In transition, here come the Nets. Harden with it. Out defended by Barrett. That's his first three-pointer of the half. Remember, he did make one in the first half as well. Rose off the bit from Randall. Rose passes to Barrett. The feather touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. Great move to the hoop, and I love the finger roll finish. Irving drives in. A look from Harris. Another one falls for Brooklyn. You know, tired legs can affect you at the defensive end. And I think that's what's happening right here. I agree, because as much offense as we saw early, we've seen even more of it here late. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Thanks, Kevin. Tom Thibodeau had some words for his team in that last huddle. He warned his team to get back in transition defense, saying they're giving up way too many fast break buckets, and he wants an end to it. He said, hey, let's slow the tempo and make them take some tough shots. A sound defensive strategy, Kevin. Great. Thanks for the report, Doris. Here's Barrett. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. I think they need to get much more disruptive defensively. They can't just keep allowing these easy baskets. I agree. They need more energy in the post, maybe some double teaming. They've got to get their defense in gear. Brooklyn leading by five. Harden kicks to Griffin. Rejected by Randall. The Knicks have gotten four of their six shots to fall so far here in the fourth. A pretty nice efficiency there. There at the pass to Robinson. With some arc. And it's James Harden with the rebound. The Nets have gone two or four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. That's good. James Harden. Harden's got 13 points in the second half. Knicks trail by seven. Passes to Randall. The feed to Rose. Robinson down low. He's against Jordan. Offensive rebound. And Robinson throws it down. He is one guy you do not stand in the way of when he decides to attack the rim. Now a timeout call by Brooklyn. Well, he sees something that, he's, that he doesn't like. I'm not sure what it is, but I think he's going to make some changes here. I think you've got to make your adjustments pretty quickly like he's doing here. Otherwise, you know, things can get out of hand. So this is a good timeout. Riven sets the screen for Harden. Uses both hands to slam it down. Boy, that's some physical basketball out there. I'm glad I'm not in the middle of that. A hard <laughs> pick and an assault on the buck. Old school stuff there. <laughs> there was a lot to like on that play. There at the pass to Rose. Rose off the pick from Randall. Rose goes in. No good from Randall. Tried to get a little too fancy with that one. Unless the alley oop is going to be uncontested on both ends of the play, you're better off avoiding it. Stripped it away. One on one fast break. Rose dishes to Robinson. New York moving the ball around. Barrett. Off target from outside. Second chance shot. Gets the bucket. I've really appreciated their activity in the post today. I mean, their movement down low has been great. Yeah, ball movement, player movement. They're generating a lot of easy opportunities for themselves down there. Irving kicks to Jordan. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. And the Nets lead by seven. It's been the story of the game for him. Fortunately, his teammates have bailed him out. 
right side Rose. There's the pass to Knox. They set the screen. Six on the shot clock. The shot's good from Barrett. You know, shooting as well as he has from before in the game, this tight guy, you've got to think he's going to be a factor near the end. Nets leading by five. Irving drives in. Outside for Griffin. And a miss there on the triple. The Knicks have gone through the fourth quarter shooting 50%. 7 of 14. Pass to Barrett. From downtown. Rebound Brooklyn. Jordan's got four rebounds now tonight. Rejected by Barrett. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Nets will retain possession. Kevin Durant checked in for DeAndre Jordan. Kevin Durant. The shot by Irving. The Nets pull it in. Surprisingly, he hasn't really been a big part of their offense. I don't think he ever got into a rhythm. It's stolen by Rose. Oh, and here comes Rose, all alone. Oh, oh man. man, what a play. Boy, I love it. Active hands on the steal, active feet on the fast break. And Clark Power on the dunk. And, and guys, this is just too close of a game to be giving the ball up like that and then failing to get back in transition. Irving with it, now guarded by Barrett. Outside for Durant. This one for three. It's rebounded by New York. Rose has got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Robinson. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. And it's now only a one-point Nets lead. Irving drives in. Here's Harris. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. He just has not been able to get into that groove yet, guys. But as a whole, it hasn't affected them too much. Four of their last five makes came off of a high-quality shot inside. Yeah, that's good. Oh, wow. Time running low, guys, and uh, somebody has got to win this one. You know, quite honestly, Kevin and Steve, I mean, this game is close as it's been. You really hate to see it come to an end. I agree. Well, then let's root for overtime. Okay, why not? One fifty-seven left in the fourth quarter. And finished off by Robinson. Now, this is why the breakaway rim was invented. For plays just like that. Well, he almost brought the whole thing down, Clark, by hanging on that long. Yeah, he did. Well, it was a great dunk and also a great game we've got here. And Kevin Durant with the slam. Went for the two-hander on that slam. That's where the weight room comes into play, Kevin. <laughs> yeah, I think some urgency from him there. Yeah, he's sensing this is a critical time in this game, guys. New York's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. And it's Rose penetrating. Well placed alley pass into the layup. And the Knicks lead by one. Soft touch on both ends of that pretty alley oop. You know, I gotta say, Clark, when he threw the pass, I didn't know where it was gonna go. We saw it in the back, right where it was supposed to, in the back. It sure did. I don't think anybody knew where it was gonna go. Wow, fans just getting their money's worth tonight. Really entertaining ball game. It has been. The margin separating these teams has been paper thin. And the shot is good. Rose has got 10 points here in the second half. And they're beginning to fall apart a little bit defensively, especially inside. Well, that's four straight buckets now at the rim. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew Konjak on the shot. Check out the game for Blake Griffin. He has nine points and a couple of great-looking rejections. So far, two blocks. Now he's anticipated the ball movement down low. He's finding angles, and that's why he's able to go up there and really control that glass area. Miss at the line might stick in his craw for a while. Always hurts to miss a chance to take the lead. The next shooting in the fourth has been tremendous 59%. Back to Rose. Uncovered. Here's Knox. Here's Robinson. And it's going to be a goaltending call here, so they'll count the bucket. Ooh, he's playing hard, but you got to play smart, too. Get there too late, and that's a big whistle. You hear the crowd? I don't think they agreed with the officials on that one. I tell you what, they're really letting them have it. And just look at what Durant is doing. My goodness. 
Barrett, guarded by Hardy. Knox, on target with his three. There's Rose with the three. Rose with another miss. Master Robinson, second shot opportunity. Shot is off. So Brooklyn will take it the other way. It's three on three on the fast break. Harden the pass to Durant. Now the dish to Griffin. The jump hook nails it. And that is the shot of the game. Well, he's got the guts and courage to take it and the skill to make it. Rose passes to Barrett. Down low. Here's Randall. It's off. Now, here's Harden. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Smart foul there. You've got to try to extend the game. Yeah, it's still close, but they're fighting that clock as much as the score right now. He drops the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. So he gets them both, and it's a four-point ball game. And you got to think those free throws are the nail in the coffin, guys. Passes it to Barrett. Checks up a three. Good. And that shot brings them to within just one. Five seconds left in the fourth quarter. And now they finally stop the clock. Two shots. So the first one drops, and that will put them up by two. And so both free throws are good. And it's a three-point game. Man, pressure-packed free throws, but he looks cool as can be. So big to give them that three-point lead. And so it's Brooklyn who scrapes by with the win. Now they 